Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninin and for today's video we are going to be reviewing the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This is an SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus. I tested this out on bare skin, on skin with my normal skincare underneath, and then also underneath makeup and on top of makeup so that I can give you a full review. I will be inserting clips as always so that you can see what it actually looks like in my bathroom lighting and in natural lighting. The active ingredients in here are octosalate, homosalate, tinosorb S, tinosorb M, polysilicone 15, and Uvenol A+. This has also got some other really great ingredients in here. It has Centelic Asiatica Extract, Ficus Serica Fruit Extract, which is fig, and these are all skin soothing. It also has eight types of hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, adenosine, which is for wrinkle care, some skin barrier strengthening ingredients is the hydrogenate lecithin and ceramide NP. So you're not just getting the sun protection, you're getting some other really great benefits from the ingredients in here. With the eight types of hyaluronic acid in here, they marketed towards people with dry skin. So right on the packaging it says, soothes and cools dry skin, supplies abundant moisture, and it's a water-based sun gel so this is a Korean sunscreen and I know a lot of you like to see some of that third-party testing if it is available um, I was able to find that the Korean Institute of Dermatological Sciences did some third-party testing on it and they came out with a SPF of 53.5 and a PA of 4 plus which is great because on the bottle they're marketing it and have been marketing it marketing it as an SPF 50 plus PA of 4 plus so if you wanted to see that here it is up on the screen. So I can't remember if I bought this from Yes Style or Stylevana. I'm pretty sure it was probably Yes Style, but right now on the Yes Style website, it's retailing for $18.56. As you guys know, the price may fluctuate a little bit because it is a Korean sunscreen. Um, you get 50 milliliters, which is 1.69 fluid ounces of product. This is the packaging. This is what it looks like. Um, nice size, I guess. <laughs> when you open it up, I really like when sunscreens have the tip like this just makes it a little bit easier for me to you can't even really see it it just makes it easier for me to measure out my sunscreen and it's a little bit less messy show you what it looks like on the back of my hand and then we will do the full face review so as you can see the texture is it's a lightweight uh, milky texture which I really like because I think these types layer really well on top of other products with that teen sorb M like I said since it is kind of a more physical some people might experience a white cast with this I did not experience any white cast whatsoever as you can see it's gone um, and the finish of it it looks kind of normal to glowy I guess but it's not like an extreme glow it doesn't feel greasy or heavy or anything like that it just absorbs really nicely into the skin so the first day that I wore this I wore it with my normal skincare and for me that is just my acne serum and a light moisturizer and then I wait a little bit and I put the sunscreen on top of it so this is what it's looking like when I put two fingers worth of it on I just think it spreads out beautifully like like it's so easy to blend in some sunscreens you need a mirror to make sure you're hitting all your spots you need a mirror to make sure you are rubbing everything in everywhere and you're not getting a white cast but with this one it's really easy to rub in I think this would be a great option if you're on the go and you just do not have time to be sitting there rubbing in a sunscreen forever this is a good option because it rubs in very quickly and absorbs also pretty quickly as well I will say that this sunscreen does sting my eyes slightly um, it's not as bad as some other ones but I just have a sensitive eyes in general so maybe it's just me <laughs> and maybe you won't experience that but just want to make a note of that this is a fragrance free sunscreen I personally think it has like a light normal sunscreen smell it's very light and the smell does go away and dissipate which I love because you guys know I have a sensitive nose it tends to run a lot if I'm smelling something for too long so I just get the slight sunscreen scent to it and then it disappears so I wore this sunscreen for two hours and I came back and this is what it's looking like um, I don't think I look that shiny I do produce quite a bit of normal oils so in my t-zones it looks a little bit glowy but around my jaws and in my drier areas I think it looks really great um, so I just blotted and then I reapplied and reapplication was very easy very simple um, and it looks just as great with reapplication than it did with the first application so the next day when I wore it I wore it on bare skin no moisturizer no acne serum I just washed my face 
and put the sunscreen on. This is what it's looking like without any products on, on just bare skin. I think that it looks okay, but I needed more moisture. Even though it looks slightly glowy and it looks like, oh, my face looks hydrated, it didn't feel that way. Even if you have oily skin, I would say you should wear a light moisturizer underneath. And if you have dry skin, I would say definitely put a thicker moisturizer underneath because Although this is hydrating, it's not moisturizing. And yes, there is a difference. Wore it for two hours and came back. This is what it's looking like. I didn't even really need to blot. I don't think I even blotted um, because I wasn't greasy. I wasn't shiny. I just reapplied with two fingers and this is what it's looking like. I will say that I slightly enjoyed the reapplication process better on the day that I didn't have moisturizer under because by the second application, it felt a little bit better, a little bit less like I needed some more product on my face. So I did enjoy the second application on bare skin, but I probably wouldn't recommend you guys wearing this without a moisturizer. So the last day I wore this with makeup and it was with normal skincare and then the Isn't Tree sunscreen and then my makeup on top of it. And I would say that the makeup did apply really nicely because this is so lightweight and hydrating. I thought I got a little bit of the glow underneath the makeup, but it didn't make me look shiny or greasy. Um, so this is what it's looking like and then I wore it for two hours and came back and as you guys can see again I'm a little bit shiny in my t-zones, but I think it looks pretty good after the two hours I came back and I blotted and I attempted to Reapply this over my makeup. It worked fine as far as reapplication. My only thing is I thought I looked slightly too glowy, but it's not anything that I wouldn't be able to fix with a little bit of powder and call it a day. So so yes, it does work to reapply over makeup, but if you don't like that glowy look to it, you may not like to use this as your choice of reapplication. So my overall thoughts on the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Although it is marketed towards people with dry skin, I can see it working for all skin types. As someone who has oily to combo skin, I really liked the way that it wore. I'd say if you have more of an oily skin, you might opt to wear it like solo or wear it with a really, really light moisturizer underneath. And if you're someone with dry skin, it also works well to wear maybe a thicker moisturizer on and then put this over it. I do like the finish of it. I like that it's a natural glow. It's not like a shiny or greasy glow and it's also not making me look dry, I guess. So if you like that look, this could be a good option for you. If you like a more matte look, this is probably not it for you. As someone that has struggled with acne, I will say that for my acne prone skin, it worked really well. I did not experience any breakouts or any like little bumps or anything like that. Um, I will say that prior to starting this, I was using a different sunscreen that caused a little bit of a breakout. So in the clips, you'll see that I may have some spots, but it was not from this um, because the more I wore this, that went away um, and I didn't experience any new breakouts from it. As far as my girls with sensitive skin, I too have sensitive skin and I didn't experience any sensitivities from this. I did experience sensitivities around my eyes, um, but on my actual skin, I didn't get any like, it didn't make my skin feel hot or itchy or anything like that. I said I'm interested in seeing how it will wear in the summer. I feel like it will wear fine, but maybe not, who knows. I think you might be able to adjust it and make it work for the summer, but hopefully I remember to give that a try and give you guys an update for more of the summer months. If you guys have tried this Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel and you loved it, let me know. If you tried it and you absolutely hated it, also let me know. We all have very different skin types. We may like different products. That'll be it for today's video. As always, don't forget to leave your sunscreen recommendations as well. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!